All right, guys, today we're gonna do the ever iconic porgy. This, for me, is one of the greats. It's meaty, it has great skin. Really, the way to do it is grill it. Today, we're gonna grill it. We're gonna make a little salsa verde, which is a little herby, lemony sauce that goes perfectly with a nice, smoky, grilled, rich, meaty fish. One of the most common questions about cooking a whole fish is that, how do I get it so it doesn't stick to the grill? Grill's gotta be hot. Coals, you want it to be nice and white if you're gonna cook it on a barbecue. The most important thing is drying the fish. Because if you take the fish right from the cooler or right from the refrigerator and you put it on the grill, the coldness releases steam and that's what makes it stick. The fish should be removed from the refrigerator a half an hour before you're gonna eat it. Put it on some paper towels, let it sit on there for five minutes to dry nice. All right, so we dried it really good. We scaled it, took the gills out, we removed the guts cut the fins off. First thing we're gonna do is season the cavity with a little bit of good quality sea salt, garlic, help flavor the fish, a sprig of rosemary, a little slice of lemon. We need uh, extra virgin olive oil. Like when I do this in my house, I do it with my fingers. Put a good amount of oil on it. We always wanna go the direction that the scales. We're gonna salt the fish aggressively. Ground pepper. We're gonna go right over to our grill. We wanna go to the nice hot spot. We're gonna let it grill. We're not gonna mess with it. That's the other problem people make when they grill at home, is they mess with the fish too much. Put it on the grill, let the grill do its magic. All right? we wanna make sure we get nice marks on our fish, right? So we just pick it up, and we just turn it a quarter of the way. You should always use a fork. This way you can get underneath the fish. If the fish sticks a little bit, what you could do is you could just lightly brush it with a little bit of oil, and that will also help unstick the fish. While our fish is grilling, we're gonna make our salsa verde. We have a variety of kinds of herbs. I had mint, I have oregano, I got rosemary, I got parsley. But you just want to make sure that it's balanced. If you put too much rosemary, you're only going to take rosemary. Here we have garlic, filet of uh, anchovy, and we have capers, lemon, and olive oil. We're going to take a little bit of salt, and we're going to mash. A little bit of garlic goes a long way. That's the big mistake people always do. After that, we're going to add a little bit of our rosemary, more salt. And we want to make everything into paste. Good, then now we're going to add the rest of our more leafy herbs. Another little pinch of salt. Salt is our agent that helps break it down inside the mortar. All right, so I got everything mortared up good. We're going to add our piece of anchovy. We're going to add a little bit of our capers. These aren't capers that come in vinegar. It's a better quality. We're going to go over there. We're going to flip our fish over. Put the fork right into the cavity. We're gonna flip it right over. Look at that, huh? Brush this side with a little bit of oil. All right, so now we're gonna put back at the mortar. We're gonna get all that other stuff broken up. We're gonna add a little pepper, lemon juice, we're gonna add our extra virgin olive oil. We want it to be somewhat thick, but not tasty. If you taste it and you like it, you want to balance it a little bit more. It's not really required, but I like to put a little shot of sherry vinegar from Spain. Just a little drop. Balances it out a little bit. Outstanding. Bright and herbaceous. Now we're going to go back to our fish. We can tell where our fish is done. We can insert the fork into the cavity. Right, we can feel that it needs another minute or two, but it's close. Right? We could take and we could push down. You see how the meat's starting to break? That tells me that this fish is almost done. We're gonna take it off the grill and we're gonna let it rest. Right? Just like you would cook a steak. We're gonna let it sit for four or five minutes. It's gonna relax all its juices. Brush it good with oil. We're gonna re-season it a little bit especially on the skin. And we're gonna bring it over here, we're gonna let it rest. So my favorite way to serve the fish is as is. What we would do for our guests is that we make an incision down the center and we just open it up a little bit, right? We can take some of the salsa verde, right down the middle of the cavity, good quality extra virgin oil, a little sauteed spinach on the side, or some grilled potatoes, great fish. That's a great meal. And now the great thing about when you eat a fish like, like this particular way, right? This is gray meat on the inside of the collar. 
which I love. It's kind of like a dark meat, like a thigh of a chicken. And then you have, obviously, you have the cheek. You have all this meat that runs up into the jowls and the forehead. And when you fillet the fish, you don't get that result. Voila, porgy, grilled porgy a la salsa verde.